students, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So for this video, I'm going to teach you on how to write the compound statement into a symbolic form. So without a further ado, let's get started. So bago tayo mag-proceed on how to convert the compound statement into a symbolic form, so always pagkitandaan yung equivalent form ng words na ito. For example, yung and, or, if, then, if, and only if. So pag sinabing and, ito yung magiging symbol niya. Pag or naman, ito yun. And then, if then. And then, we have if and only if. So, always memorize this equivalent form para hindi kayo mahirapan habang sumasagat kayo on how to convert a compound statement into a symbolic form. So, let's have an example. So, we have here, consider the following simple statement. We have the P. Today is Friday. Q. It is raining. Or, I am going to a movie. And then, we have the S. I am not going to the basketball game. Now, question. Write the compound statement into symbolic form. For example, we have letter A. Today is Friday and I am going to a movie. So ngayon, paano ba mag-write ng compound statement into a symbolic form? So we have here compound statement. So first, look for the simple statement. Or in other words, yung pinaka-first statement. So we have the first statement is that today is not Friday. So that is letter B. And then at the same time, today is Friday yung B. And nakasulad doon is today is not Friday. So it means... Meron siyang negation, so, so it means opposite yung dot ng statement na yon So, magiging negative P, and then we have the N, so gamitin yung symbol na N, and copy the letter of I am going to the basketball game. So, the answer is we have negative P, and then N, R. So, that will be the answer in letter A. So, let's have another example. We have, I am going to basketball game, and I am not going to a movie. Now, proceed first to the simple statement that is, I am going to a basketball game. So, anong letter siya? That is letter S. Very good. So, yung letter S na given na yun is, I am not. Meron siya not. So, ibig sabihin na ilalagay mo na siya doon sa una is negative S. Kasi ang nalagay doon sa question is, I am going. Since ang given is, I am not, and then sa question is, I am going, so magiging negative S siya. And then, copy the sign of the end and then the next simple statement is negative red. So, bakit negative red? Kasi yung given na R is I am going to movie. But then, yung tanong is I am not going to movie. So, now we have the final answer. We have the negative S and the negative R. So, now gets another example. I am going to the movie if and only if it is raining. So, again, I am going to movie if and only if it is raining. So now, ano yung sign na ginagamit sa if and only if? That, that is, is dash, tapos meron meron siyang arrow sa bawat ilan. So now, copy the letter of the first sentence, I am going to the movie, that is R. And then, and that is R. If and only if, copy the sign, and then copy the letter of it is reading. So that is letter Q. So now, our answer is R, and then if and only if, Q. So that will be the answer. So now, gets na. So now, let's proceed to the last example. So we have, if today is Friday, then I am not going to a movie. So we have, if, then, for. So ano yung ginagamit na symbol doon? We have the dash, then yung arrow lang is yung nasa right. So we have, if today is Friday, today is Friday, that is letter P. Very good. And if, then, that is copy the sign. So we have the letter of I am not going to movie. So with the negation of I am not. So ibig sabihin, magagamit ka ng sign ng negation. So P dash the arrow, then negative R. So that will be the answer of this statement. So na gets na ba? So I hope you understand my topic. And practice more for you to be able to how to write the compound statement into simple form. So that's all for it for now. Bye.